Hi friends so as we have completed the story yesterday the boy who suckled the six mothers seven mothers actually so that story as we have completed in one day so today we are going to start another big time story another fairy tale folk tale from bengal and the title of the story is the story of prince shobor so let's start once upon a time there lived a certain merchant who had seven daughters one day the merchant put to his daughters the question by whose fortune do you get your living the eldest daughter answered papa i get my living by your fortune the same answer was given by the second daughter the third the fourth and fifth and the sixth but his youngest daughter said i get my living by my own fortune the merchant got very angry with the youngest daughter and said to her as you are so ungrateful as to say that you get your living by your own fortune let me see how you fare alone this very day you shall leave my house without a paise in your pocket he for uh, he forthwith called his palki bearers and ordered them to take away the girl and leave her in the midst of a forest the girl begged her to be allowed to take with her her work box containing her needles and threads she was allowed to do so she then got into the palki which the bearers lifted on their shoulders the bearers had not gone many hundred yards to the tune of <laughs> when an old woman bawled out to them and bid them stop one on coming up to the palki she said where are you taking away my daughter for she was the nurse of the merchant's 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 youngest child the bearers replied the merchant has ordered us to take her away and leave her in the midst of a forest and we are going to do this do his bidding i must go with her said the old woman how will you be able to keep pace with us as we must needs run said the bearers anyhow i must go where my daughter goes rejoined the old woman the upshot was that at the eternity at the entreaty sorry i missed uh, i misread the upshot was that at the entreaty of the merchant's youngest daughter the old woman was put inside the palki along with her in the afternoon the palki bearers reached a dense forest they were far into it they went far into it and towards sunset they put down the girl and the old woman at the foot of a large tree and retra- and retraced their steps homewards the case of the merchant's uh, merchant's youngest daughter was truly pitiable she was scarcely fortu- scarcely 14 years old she had been bred in the lap of luxury and she was now here at sundown in the heart of what seemed an inter interminable forest with not a penny in her pocket and with no other protection than what could be given her by an old decrepit imbecile imbecile woman the very trees of the forest looked upon her with pity the gigantic tree at whose foot she was mingling her tears with those of the old woman said to her for trees could speak in those days unhappy girl i must pity you in a short time the wild beasts of the forest will come out of their lairs and roam about for their prey and they are sure to devour you 
and your companion but i can help you i will make an opening for you in my trunk when you see the opening you go into it i will then close it up and you will remain safe inside nor can the wild beasts touch you in a moment the trunk of the tree was split into two the merchant's daughter and the old woman went inside the hollow on which the tree resumed its natural shape when the sh- shades of night darkened the forest the wild beasts came out of their lairs the fierce tiger was there the wild bear was there the hard-skinned rhinoceros was there the bushy bear was there the musty elephant was there and the horned buffalo was there they all growled round about the tree for they got the scent of human blood the merchant's daughter and the old woman heard from within the tree the growl of the beasts the beasts came dashing against the tree they broke its branches they pierced its trunk with their horns they scratched its bark with their claws but in vain the merchant's daughter and her old nurse were safe within towards dawn the wild beasts went away after sunrise the good tree said to her two inmates unhappy woman the wild beasts have gone into their lairs after greatly tormenting me the sun is up you can now come out so saying the tree split itself into two and the merchant's daughter and the old woman came out so my dear listeners thank you for being with me thank you for your support and thank you for for encouraging me with uh, constant encouragement so today we are arresting this uh, story reading till uh, till this point and we will again read Uh, read this story by tomorrow so till then have a nice sweet dream actually not nice a sweet dream have a sweet dream so till then tata